Good evening, everyone in Asia and good morning here in California. Well, today's topic, we are going to be talking about paralysis and recovery with acupuncture. We are going to be talking with Professor M.K. Shastri, who has developed advanced concept of acupuncture and pain management with neural studies. He is director of Advanced Institute of Neuroscience in India and founder of non-invasive brain stimulation with dry needles, with percutaneous electrical nerve stimulation. Dr. Shastri has treated more than 1.5 million patients, and he is a visiting physician in 22 hospitals in India. He is also a visiting physician in 16 countries and has trained more than 10,000 students all over the world. Amazing, amazing work. I am Amita from Nourish Talk, a platform for natural and holistic therapies. I am honored to have him here share his um, you know, talks as well as some case studies. Welcome, Professor Shastri here. Hello. Yeah. Good evening, all of you. I think some of my students yet are supposed to join. So can you okay. help them to join? Uh, I, think, I think people will be joining. Uh, we have quite a, quite, a, quite, a, quite a few people already joined. We have almost 100 people who have joined. So I think we can get started, if you like. We can stand, uh, start, but my only humble request, my 150 students are waiting to join here. Okay. Okay. So, they should be able to join. That's not a problem. So there's one lady here, you can see Winnie. Okay, let me see. We have 102 students who've already joined. Yeah, Win friend, you see Winnie friend, she has given you a message. Please. Uh, uh, I No, I don't see any message. I see 102 people um, in- I'll in tell the... you her name. You allow her to be the co-host. They'll help you to manage it. Oh, you want me to help uh, the co-host here? Yeah, you can hold her to as a co-host. She is my best student, one of the finest students I have. Okay. She helps me every day. I okay, so I don't know. It's not allowing me to. Um, I have to start again, then stop share. Uh, let me it's just... okay. Then let us continue. No problem. Yeah, let's continue. And she can come in, and uh, I don't know why it's not allowing me. I have to stop share and do the thing again. Um, I can do that if you want. Do you want me to stop? No need. Share no, need, no, need no need. No need. Let us okay. continue. Okay. Okay. All right. So, can I start with your due permission? Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Please start. <laughs> yeah. Good evening, all of you. This is MK Shastri. I'm working presently as a director to the Advanced History of uh, Neurosciences. Uh, with my small experience, you can say, we have done a very wonderful job. And so far, Amita is concerned. She has been closely helping me in many concerns because mm -hmm. when I entered this file, I'll tell you, I knew nothing about this Zoom, these websites, because we were the people who never saw the outside world, marketing and all, we never knew. We never knew how to take out this message out from our clinic. We were just a local physician. We were not the global physicians. People invited us, we went to the seminars, we taught there, we used to come back and work in our clinic. This is what our life was. We have given 32 years to this subject. I started in this career at the very young age of 12 or 13 years. And then I found out, wow, you just see what a beautiful subject it is. If you see the Bible, Jesus said, if you have a faith of the mustard seed, you will see the tree inside. What is the size of an acupuncture needle? Just imagine, a small needle. What is the diameter? Less than a mustard seed. But what it does is wonderful after wonderful. You see, what a beautiful, who created this brain? A neural tube. From just a small neural tube, you see how beautiful architecture was created from one sperm, defeating so many millions of sperms, entering the egg, fertilizing it, a neural tube is created from this neural tube, midbrain, the forebrain, and the hindbrain is created. What a beautiful structure. Millions and millions of communications takes place. Millions of millions things takes place and we do are not aware of what we have. 
If I keep on speaking, day and night, if you'll say, it's only the glory of God. Before coming to it, let us speak one simple law of physics. Can you please anyone tell me with the law of physics, God exists? Let us take two things to prove the existence of God. Can anyone do that? Can you please prove God exists? Amita, let me put you this question as a student of science. Can you prove God exists? Well, you know, I believe in the... <clears throat> no, believe. Physics <laughs> and chemistry. Physics and chemistry. Uh, I don't know about from physics and chemistry point of view, but definitely from unconscious and spirituality point of view, there is something... No, no, no. no. Conscious <laughs> spirituality is not... No, no, no. Okay, this is not Please a... Please give evidence of the... Physics no, and no. chemistry, I don't, I, don't, I don't think physics and chemistry. By the way, I think I can make him um, make her a go. I don't know why it's not working right now. But um, no, from a physics and chemistry point of view, um, I don't think so. <laughs> yes. Anyone Let else wants to put a chat in chat? They can, they're welcome to put in the chat. And this is an amazing uh, conversation we are having. You can put whatever you like to put in the chat to answer Professor Shastri's question right now. So let us go to our young school days where we used to study the first law of physics and the first law of chemistry. Let us go to the periodic table and study the hydrogen and let us study the structure of the hydrogen and go with the law of physics. So if you see hydrogen, it consists of one electron which rotates in the circle. And now let us go to the physics. When anything is stationary, it needs an external force applied. The, the motion will continue. The a person or a object or a matter, which will it will continue the status of motion or rest until an external force is applied. This is called the law of inertia applied by everyone, founded by whom? Who was the founder of law of inertia? Well, anyone <clears throat> who wants to be Conversing here, people are quiet for some reason. And um, Dr. Chastri, <laughs> people are just waiting for you. They're quiet. I'm, I'm looking at it here in the chat window. So um, I, I think yes. I, I think it is Newton's of, first law of motion. It's, it's Newton's law of motion. Newton said, until and unless external force is applied, a body of rest will continue rest, and a body of motion will continue motion. And then you see how beautifully a, from the electron, a initial thrust is given by a universal power and the motion continues. Otherwise, that would have continued to be on the rest or on motion. But when it was on rest, who gave that initial thrust to that person, electron? And it was only one who could give it his God. The vocabulary of God, we do not know what can be given. The one who takes care of that small electron, who marries one electron with high oxygen to give you water. You see how beautiful is the law of marriage. How beautiful is the law of command he created. He created the brain in such a beautiful way that we can see the recovery of the patients. We could see those recoveries. I witnessed that a patient who recovers in one minute, two minutes at stopwatch, you can see hundreds of videos which are there in Facebook. YouTube, you can see there are evidence after evidence, evidence after evidence. Not in one case or two cases. In the case of motor neuron disease also, in cases of spastic paralysis, flaccid paralysis, hemorrhagic stroke, ischemic stroke, post-operative kyanotomy, cervical myelopathy. All this happened with what? Brain stimulation. You just give a beautiful stimulus in a proper way and you will see the muscles walking out. All these years, we believe that the muscles need to be exercised again and again. A 5,000 repetitive movement will strengthen the muscle by one unit or two units. But now if you go with the brain stimulation, particular muscles need how much stimulation? Now you see, all that is mentioned here in paralysis due to these, due to these, due to these, motor neuron disease, due to spine diseases, and all any other disease, what you name. 
Why only pain? Large number of problems. We love to know that there is a patient whom I have treated recently. His right side BP has been applied cardiac stunt. He's a young boy. And his right side BP was 110 by 80, while the left side was uh, 190 by 200. Oh, sorry, 190 by 110. Too high. Anytime he can have a stroke. He was The most important part was he was monitored by one or two cardiologists. His father himself is a doctor in the army and he retired as a colonel. And he brought his son to me because he is my student. The colonel is my student. His army doctor is my student. You see, I just picked few needles. And then you can see the patient started responding and today you see his BP is okay, which has been fluctuating for last one year. Within two sessions, he's been okay. No doubt this patient will be under what? Our supervision. So you can see so many things have happened with the stimulation of the brain. Be it compressive myelopathy, be it non-compressive myelopathy. Let it be all these complications, but then the body itself is capable to recover many things which we think is not possible. Why? Because it needs just a small potential of energy. The two energies which we knew in the brain, one is membrane potential, one is action potential. The moment we give an initial impulse on the skull, it becomes a membrane potential of the brain. And it works with what? With a series of commands. You can see how we have developed a beautiful concept of neuromuscular scalp. Why we call it neuromuscular concept? You can see each muscle, you can see how it has been beautifully plotted with the meridian points of acupuncture. You put needle from ear to ear, you will see what? For example, you want to recover the percutaneous muscle or you want to recover the gluteus maximus. You see the movement of that muscle. Put resistance and you see how much is it leaking or whether it is taking a power from the other muscles. And accordingly, you put the needle in this direction, which is mentioned here. And then you stimulate it with the advanced pain, which has been developed by us. It is called percutaneous electrical nerve stimulation. Generally, when we speak about brain stimulation, there are two things. One is deep brain stimulation. One is non-invasive brain stimulation. Further, non-invasive brain stimulation is classified into two parts. One is transcranial brain stimulation, transelectrical brain, brain stimulation, and one is dry needle-based brain stimulation, which has been in practice for thousands of years. But all these years, it was practiced in a traditional way. We were among the first team in the world to make it what scientific and analyzed it with the help of functional MRI. We analyzed it in the way of lymphatic system. If you see the research paper of 2002 of NetGuard, 2012 of NetGuard and 2012 paper of uh, Dr. I.P. Chedian, cleaning and cooling of the brain. Here you will understand the brain is more active at night than in day. The moment you sleep by using the Brownian principles, all the, let us understand how it brain works and how this acupuncture recovers the brain damages. There is a CSF fluid which is, produced in choroid plexus of the lateral ventricles. From here, the capillaries and all, they manufacture what? Cerebrospinal fluid, which nourishes the temperature of the brain, which nourishes the brain, maintains the what? Buoyancy of the brain and also of the spine. Clear? Now, when you sleep at night, you will see when the nights are, when the lights are off, why do we sleep with the lights off? because it produces melatonin. Now, brain is what? Electrical and chemical reactions. So whenever there is electrical and chemical reaction, there is a lot of waste damage distorted in the brain, like amyloid proteins and all. If you see these amyloid proteins, they are the creator of Alzheimer's. They are deposited where? In the hippocampus and all. Where are the proteins generally deposited? In the S nigra, there's the hypothalamus, which creates dopamine. And that damages the dopamine neuron. And as a result, you have Parkinson. But what a beautiful system God created. 
You get angry, you damage the brain. You fight, you damage the brain. But when you sleep, what happens? This lymphatic system, you can say supracellular system, that all the CSF which is manufactured in the brain goes to the supracellular system. From here, when you sleep, all this enters the brain. And then you will see everything is cleaned and it goes out. So similarly, when you stimulate the brain in this pattern, you give what? There are two signal patterns. One is corticospinal, one is pyramidal tract. And then when you stimulate the corticospinal or pyramidal tracts, you will see how the patient recovers. You will see the recovery of each and every muscles, what you will see in fractions of seconds, milliseconds. And this has been done millions of times. Not only by me, but my more than 10,000 students. Today, you will love to know that these techniques are practiced in more than 25 countries of the world. Every day you will see, I think every day we are recovering more than 100 patients in India by this technique. US, France, Italy, Germany, everywhere this technique is practiced. You could see how upper limb and lower limb, people say, sir, upper limbs is very difficult to recover. But you go by this pattern, you will see upper limbs becomes more easy. We have not only developed this pattern, but we have developed other patterns also, in which it becomes very easy for people to understand how to recover the brain. It's not speaks about the paralysis, it speaks about the recovery from the brain. Your non lock needling is done on the paralyzed area because we believe that once an area is damaged, it becomes very difficult to be stimulated. But there is a chain system in the brain. If you go to corpus callosum, the communications are divided. And brain is the capacity to delegate, to take the load, and it works. How this stimulation helps? You see, you check the isolated muscle movement, find out what is the power of the muscle, you stimulate this particular needle until the power of four. So physiotherapists, they do it often. You check the moment of that particular muscle, find out the initial stimulus, initial, what you call, power, and then recheck it on the, stimulate the brain, which muscle is weak, find it, stimulate, and then you see. Those are on the table. Not one or two. Millions of cases are there like this. And if you come to Assam, you will see Assam is a land of every type of stroke. I went to Assam for two days like I came to Hyderabad. I was supposed to take my monk hood. You love to know. I was supposed to give up this material status, but then because of my friend, I am here. And today, that is the reason I came to Hyderabad for 10 days and I stayed back and has joined as director to Advanced History of Neurosciences. Presently, director Advanced History of Neurosciences also gives this free training to all this through Zoom and practical classes, provided the student pays his food and accommodation charges. Here you will see how neuromuscular uh, system is developed. We have integrated the muscular communication of the brain, that is corticospinal pathway with the pyramidal tract and from pyramidal tract to the motor movements. Even after having motor relations, you can see the patients have recovered, patients have sustained, and large number of patients who have been suffering from varied elements, varied systems, they recovered. It's endless examples. Every day, if you come to my clinic, you will see what? So when you see the movement of our involuntary or voluntary movements, they have their own pattern. But voluntary movements are generally responsible for what? From the brain, motor cortex. Where is the motor cortex? Let us divide the brain into parts. The central nervous system is combined of cerebrum, the cerebrum, the brain stem. So when you take the basic area, it is the cerebrum. What is the area of cerebrum? Frontal cortex, which recovers the motor area, parietal lobe, the sensory cortex, 
the temporal of the hearing and the speaking ability and the occipital lobe gives you the ability to see now if you work with the proper brain mapping which area is damaged and which area can be recovered just insert this brain needle in that pattern also you can see how people beautifully recover start recovering on the first day it's a saying in my clinic before your cup of coffee is over the paralysis be suffer be transferred to para paralysis or residual paralysis you came with flaccid leg but before your cup of coffee is over you should bring the patient to what sensation here you can see the central sulcus the line between the green and the blue is the central sulcus so the line which you are seeing showing in the blue color is from the part in the frontal cortex and the one you see it in the parietal lobe is the sensory cortex the green color and the line which divides the two is what is the central sulcus from central sulcus you come to the frontal lobe it becomes the precentral sulcus and thereafter supplementary and additional supplementary cortex and then it becomes what so the lines what you see in this are called sulcus the greater lines are called what fissures and the area which is grooved is called gyri each area it has a functional ability and as per that functional ability it is been named so if you go to the signs of the functional neuroanatomy you will see it has been classified by broadman's area now definitely broadman has a lot of uh, drawbacks but then we are not here to see that but then we can analyze the brain with the help of broadman areas now the picture what you see is a honol lugus honol lugus is the place where the commands of the muscles are released it is executing power now you have to apply the force the energy and all these calculations are done in where the frontal cortex the superior inferior and the temporal superior middle and the inferior frontal cortex which is on the both the right side and the left side so one thing we do in certain cases you cannot see cannot sorry you cannot walk how do we do we create a brain mapping how do we create a brain mapping we create a brain mapping from visual cortex to the motor cortex from this we recover and we enjoy the recovery of the patient the recovery is very beautiful sometimes you will see so much wasting of muscles but after one hour or two hours you will see the wasting is in finished on the spot you will see how the muscles are released how there is a typical what you call it structure developed for all the um, all these years because of great com neural compromise muscular compromise lot of compromise is there especially in compensatory gait pattern the whole structure of the body changes and then you see how the structure also starts changing we have seen many scoliosis patients have been recovered so you could see this is my book which i have written clinical recovery of chronic paralysis brain stroke and repair dry needle based non invasive brain stimulation is a beautiful book which we have written more than most difficult case analysis i have placed it i have written 45 books and in each book we have mentioned in brief how what what was before and what was after and you can see i really tell you if this structure is can be created only one person can create this structure is the love of the mother and the blessing of the god no one can do this miracle in this world when i see the structure of the brain i only see that i just understood one structure of the part which is less than one electron to the ocean and i realized wow it was a small dry needle just placed at the end of the skull touching the skull can do wonderful in just 5 to 10 seconds of stimulation you put the needle and it recovers wow muscle by muscle nerve by nerve area by area part by part you can recover the patient what else you need a patient who is on bed now you can see this patient's status you can see 
These people who come to me are very poor people. Seventy percent patients who come to this clinic are poor. I have to arrange this money from my own pocket, and then we treat this. As a result, we get most complicated patients. Ten years, fifteen years. One patient which we have been treated is twenty-five year old patient of paralysis, and we recovered him just ten sessions. Those who believed that paralysis cannot be recovered in twenty-five minutes, twenty-five years, no, it can be done. Next slide. You could see. that person has started walking in treadmill with 2.5 and you can have all these videos in my facebook you go to mk shastri and you'll have it my students are the witness of all this recovery and they have done it repeatedly in their clinic also whether it is vinny from singapore whether it is valid from nigeria whether it is miki whether it is fami rasid from malaysia aziza dr aziza ahmed all these are qualified medical doctors they have all practiced for 30 years 35 years 20 years all the senior medical practitioners including me we were all from the hardcore part of the medical science but then when we realized the power of god we also surrendered here and we found how beautifully a patient recovers next so this is a case like a, i think it's a case of a woman that you treated you want to there are large number of cases we have done yeah and then you can see when we study these cases this is what i was reading which case is this because it's very difficult for me to remember because we have placed so many case studies in facebook live so here you can see this patients generally those people who come from stroke area hemorrhagic stroke there is a midline shift craniotomy post craniotomy done and then uh, you put uh, craniplasty and then when you recover this patients lot of emotional deficit muscular deficit sensory deficit everything is there and it is not about recovering of one area it is just recovering muscle by muscle area by area nerve by nerve part by part it is recovering each and every supplementary muscle of quadriceps is recovery of the most difficult areas of the brain with a very easy way just one minute give me just one minute sure sure absolutely well in the meantime people have questions you can we can start um lining up the questions if you like um you know we, you can just um put it in the chat window and and i see people are asking some questions we can line one them minute. up we, we'll uh, let ready. me uh, let me present you this lady this lady yeah. also had a post stroke case and she was very apprehensive she was not able to walk and now you can see within second or third treatment her facebook live video is there you may go and see how much she has taken and you can see now she is walking beautifully she was crying all the way how she will recover and now you can see the same lady walking on tmt at the power of what 3 km per hour they can maintain their whole balance that's what i am saying yeah. who told us paralysis cannot be recovered who told us brain cannot be recovered it's the same concept of neuroplasticity neurogenesis and angiogenesis which recovers the brain so the power of god is unlimited the power of brain is unlimited you will see if you go to youtube and you try fire monk fire yogi you will see a yogi coming up who burns himself in the fire and is not burnt you will see a oil monk who is burned at the temperature of 1000 degree centigrade and is not burnt you will write type a woman floating in river you will see you no know, floating in the water monk floating in water you see a lady floating in water with different postures she is not drowned so the great is that is why it is said in the words of sophocles there was a poem which we read in our childhood about fame written by hilary belloc and there is from there there is a one small paragraph which i like to quote great and great is the human mind higher and higher are his thoughts 
Conquered he has the height of the skies to the depth of seas. Conquered he has the wildest animal and made his slave. But yet, higher and higher are his thoughts and miser and miser are his deeds. It's all up to us what we want to achieve. The brain is ours, the body is ours, the thought process is ours. Nothing is in control of God. We are the creator of our own disease. We have created everything for ourselves. And it is we who have to recover, understand. By proper lifestyle, proper understanding, we can recover. Always remember one thing of mine. For every disease, there is no pill. But for every pill, there is a disease. Every pill you take, it will create a disease in you. This was what Dr. B.M. Hegre said, one of the finest cardio cardiologists of India, who recovered a large number of cardiac patients without any medicines, just with food and style. So, we have developed one medicine on COVID also, you can see that medicine works wonderfully. We have given it to 60,000 patients, especially those who were in ICU. And we could revive them. Why? Because we worked on the gut. Gut and the brain exists, brain and the gut exists. Brain is the only area where medicines do not respond very well. Because anything which is to the size of 50 deltons, higher than the 50 deltons, it does not gross the brain because of an endocrine barrier, GI barrier, and blood-brain barrier. They are blocked, but this is a signal. It works and it gives you instant recovery. So that's what I wanted to speak. My time, which was allotted to me for giving 30 minutes speech, I gave it to you. And this is what I want to tell you, paralysis or any other disease, be it compressive myelopathy, non-compressive myelopathy, be it autoimmune disease, to a great extent, if it cannot recover, it supports the patient without any side effect. It has done for centuries after centuries, and it will continue to be centuries after centuries. Century before centuries, it was done. And I tell you, it will continue centuries after centuries. It is always said in India, Ekam Satya Bahuda Vadanti. There is only one truth. Rest is a manifestation. The millions of communication speaks about the manifestation of God and the nature and the recovery of God. This is how the economy subsides. This is how. Whatever is in the nature is also in the body. I have been able to solve most complicated cases like renatitis pigmentosa. You love to know my power was minus 25. I recovered it. I lost my eyesight by 80%. I revived it. So if I speak about my own self, this endless story of my own story, how I became an acupuncturist and now why I don't like to be practicing any other system. Why? Because body itself is a factory. Now it's up to us what we need to manufacture. You have to give a correct input, you'll get the right output. So with this, I believe all let everyone be happy, let everyone be saved, let the God who created the world under his protection, let everyone be saved. Now we have the evidence that God exists in form of hydrogen, in form of electrons, in form of brain communication. And if anyone has doubt, just come to my clinic and you will see how patients recover. Go to my Facebook and see how transverse myelitis patient starts walking after nine years of conservative treatment. How paralysis patient who has denied every treatment from the best medical college starts walking. How a person of Wilson's disease that uh, later on uh, having body chorea due to hung, Huntington's disease, how they recover. So you can see the miracle of God is the miracle which he created in the human body. One impulse changes the entire morphology of the brain. And that is what I say. It's the game of signals. You must know the membrane potential and the action potential. The power of the membrane speaks about the action. It's just like the wife supporting the husband. 
wife tells the husband bring the vegetable husband goes and gives command to his driver please bring the vegetable he goes in the market the vegetable is bought and the wife cooks it and that is what i say this is wife is the membrane potential action potential is the brain the neurotransmitter is released it crosses the synapses and the communication of million communications takes place only with the one command of the wife so that is why i say wife is great the home ministry is great so long the membrane potential is happy in the brain there will be no problem with action potentials with this glory to the all wives of the world although i am not married i give glory to all wife because without membrane potential there cannot be any action potential because it was the wife which gave birth to the child it was the wife who gave birth to the brain and god was also so mercy only he allowed the wife to do it because that had the only mercy to look after the child i think it is a wonderful thing what god created the mother the womb and that is why lord krishna said i'll come again and again paritranaya sadhunam vinasaya cha duskritam dharm sanstapanarthaya sambhavami yuge yuge someone asks lord krishna why you want to burn he says because i enjoy the womb of the mother and that is why i say great is the womb of mother which creates a child which sees the morph formation of the whole body and then people ask me where is the god i said aham brahmasmi because the body is born in the god in the womb of the mother and with this i say all mothers of the god world are great saluted all fathers of the world are great saluted because you gave a birth to the child and this creation was called human being and then we bow to this human being because it communicates in such a morphological way even today the best person in the world surrenders to his brain because no one understands the communication how can we calculate it five million communications in just five seconds that is the working of the brain even i have spoken to you i think i have given more than 20 million 30 million 50 million communications and tell me how can you calculate that brain and who created this brain only the nature the who can create this finest structure in the world he is only god and whatever he created is the finest of all no one can deny it no one has to oppose it just accept and bow down to this brain because it's the finest structure of the world and that is why i say don't do surgery always brain has its own stimulus provide the stimulus and the topic is over thank you so much it's beautiful absolutely beautiful uh we are open for questions uh, so i i see questions coming up um i'm going to stop the share and and i think i can make whoever you like um uh okay so there is any questions i i see hello good evening right now newton well that was the initial um any questions and any comments uh, let's see there is one here okay all right someone was saying please share to use the fb link we we are live by the way right now this is a live session on fb at going at the same time so uh, so don't worry about that Um, can you send? Anything? Can you please send me the record of this video? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And and you know, with your permission, you know, we can put all of your case studies and uh, format. Whatever you like, whatever you like, you can do. I have no problem. <laughs> I know, I know. You're the you're my hero. You you know, you and I are friends. You always supported me right from the beginning. So uh, so I know, I know. I don't know who supported you. You supported me in the other way <laughs> because whenever my clinic was in crisis, you were the one who took me out from the crisis. When I was in Hyderabad, you were the first yes. one because the problem with us is that we can recover patients, but who will tell them I can recover patients? Yeah, yeah. and that's why i want to do i want to mm-hmm. show your work you know to as many people as possible that that's what i i've been trying to do and that's what i want to do is really show your work to as many people so you know they can benefit um so any questions anyone has any questions you know you if you can't think of any question right now um you can you're welcome to send us later i don't think i put our uh, 
website or anything, I think people probably know. Uh, it's nourishtalk.com and care at nourishtalk. But if you want to ask him a question, we have the Mastro right here. The Mastro is right here, you know, so ask him. You can put down the number also. I'm sorry? You can give them a telephone number. If they have anything to ask, they can ask. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, I just put down our email. I put down our website. And what we will do is, you know, what uh, over the next one month or so, we are going to document all his work that uh, all the case studies, at least not all his work, I should say that all the case studies that he has put, we're going to document it, format it properly and make it available online so that, you know, everyone can access it with, uh, with uh, you know, that's what we will um, do. So <clears throat> it's very difficult to document my work because I have written a book of how much? More than 700,000 pages book. Oh my God. Okay. I have written. So I doubt you will be, if you like to complete my books, you have to take. <laughs> <laughs> I have to come in. I have to come in, uh, come to Assam, uh, Dr. Shastri. <laughs> no, no, no. You have to come to Hyderabad. Okay. But if you're reading 45 books, I think you will take oh around God. 100 years. No, no. I, I, I think I'm going to, I'm going to um, uh, just document your case studies. That's all I'm going to document. Not your entire book. Sorry. <laughs> okay. So, um, uh, all right. Any questions? I think these are just comments. Um, any questions from, for, for Dr. Shastri? I think people are still trying to... Uh, <clears throat> um, trying to digest. <laughs> yeah, yeah, trying to digest. We, we have over 100 people here. Uh, people are welcome to ask questions. Uh, if you cannot think of any questions right now, I've written our email, I've written the website. You know, you can also send uh, uh, Dr. Shastri um, a WhatsApp, but you can also communicate through uh, through this uh, if you like, and we, we can compile all of it and send it to uh, Dr. Shastri, whatever you like. Um, if there are no more questions, then, you know, we can wrap up, but I don't want to wrap up because we have him right now. He is one of the top acupuncturists in the world for that matter who probably has treated the, uh, I think the maximum number of patients, uh, 1.5 million patients he has treated successfully using all these techniques of his, what he's describing on brain stimulation. Um, so, um, all right, yeah. So he's also written his WhatsApp number. Uh, so we want his uh, research, we want his work to be, uh, you know, to be accessible to as many people as possible so that if someone, anyone knows who has been suffering from paralysis can, can at least see the hope. That's really what we are trying to do is show the work of uh, people who have, you know, helped the healing process on paralysis in this particular case. Okay, so I think Dr. Shastri, I don't see any more questions coming up. Uh, let people digest. You've already given the email, okay. you've given the website, and we will document the case studies, you know, in a proper format, not your entire work. And, and someone is commenting, so thanks a ton for such good knowledge sharing without any charge. It's important. Um, Dr. Uh, Professor Shastri has been doing a lot of- um, we, have been running, uh, we have been running the Zoom classes without any uh, oh, really? fees or money from last wow. one year we have completed one fellowship course now we are planning to complete the second fellowship course and all this we are doing free of cost amazing that's amazing amazing work well thank you so much professor shastri for being with us i uh, really really appreciate from bottom of my heart and to all the viewers uh, please help spread dr shastri's work it can help someone you know, it can help someone get out of paralysis. So help us share his work. With that, thank you so much for coming, Dr. Shastri. Thank you everyone for watching. Bye now, Dr. Shastri. Bye-bye. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, bye-bye.